life goes on And so do we Just how we do it is no mystery One by one We fill the days We find a thousand different ways Sometimes the answer can be hard to find That's something I will never be I'm always here for anything that you need Rain or shine, I'll be the one To share it all as life goes on We share it all as life goes on Carol, this is a lot of luggage. It's only a four-day cruise. Daddy, this one's my medications. <laughs> my, my antacid, my anticoagulant, my Dramamine, my capectate. Why not this whole stopped at the hospital? Daddy, I can't help it. We're going to be floating in the middle of the ocean. Who wouldn't be nervous? Won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? <laughs> It's a luxury cruise. Four days of sunshine, snorkeling, dancing. And don't forget romance. There are men on these cruises. You could meet Mr. Wright. Oh, get real. I never meet Mr. Wright. <laughs> I'd settle for Mr. Stands Up Straight and doesn't have earwax. Hey, Westons, don't forget. Be at the pier in exactly two hours. Next stop, Nassau, then Barbados, and then finally the Virgin Islands. Barbara, I'm afraid that's off limits to you. <laughs> Charlie, we really appreciate your arranging this. I mean, a luxury cruise, 60% off. Come on, you Westons have been so good to me over the years. That's the least I can do. I owe you guys. Now, I want you all to have a good time on me. Barbara, you first. Charlie, Charlie, are you sure there's one life raft per passenger? Is the water very deep? Are there any ice Carol, bears? Carol, the Ocean Queen is the safest ship in the Caribbean, especially this season. We added bomb-sniffing dogs. <laughs> Oh, no, honey, please, the ship. It's perfectly safe. Carol. Sea monsters! <laughs> okay, I got your new passport here. <laughs> Are you old? Thanks a lot, Laverne. Okay, now, no, is, is everything set? All right, relax. Then Dr. Gordon's on call at the office, and I'm here a house sitting with Dreyfus. You go on that cruise and have a good time. <laughs> you know, personally, I don't trust any vehicle you can't put up on blocks. <laughs> Where should be going? Okay, that's it. We're off, Laverne. Oh, listen, Laverne. There's all kind of food in here. And uh, the ice maker makes a funny little noise when you use it, but it works. Anything we have is yours. All righty. Thanks again, Laverne. Drive. Oh, oh. Huh. All right, we'll see you in a couple of days, Drive. All righty, Drive. I'm going to make myself some iced tea here, and then you and I'll sit down. We'll have ourselves a little chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is making a noise. Let's take a look here. Daddy, it's so beautiful. The sea is so blue. Look at the natives. Their colorful garb and their exotic outfits. Barbara, we're still in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> That's a man in a yellow cabana suit. Daddy. I don't feel well. Honey, we haven't left the dock yet. I know, but the gangplank was so wobbly. Okay. Daddy, I don't think I'm going to be able to deal with not seeing land for long periods of time. Sweetheart, there's nothing to be nervous about. Carol. Pirates! Oh, Barbara! Carol, relax. This is a floating resort. Look at this brochure. They have a million activities. Oh, there's a talent show Thursday night. I gotta do something for that. Oh, look, they have sick bay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Hello. Thank you. Come Beautiful. on. Beautiful. Who are they from? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, there's no name. It's just a card that says, to Ms. Weston, the loveliest person on the ship. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Barbara, they could be for your sister Carol. Only if you sent them, Daddy. <laughs> We're leaving Port! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
Yes, there you go, dear Nestor. Please, now relax, dear. We're going to have a lovely, lovely trip. Carol? Flying fish! Barbara, what are you doing? It's my new act for the talent show. I'm going to play the glasses. <laughs> there, perfect, in tune. Everybody know Hey Jude? <laughs> Tough instrument. Hello. Okay. I'm Myrna. And this is Charlotte. How do you do? It looks like we're your table partners for the cruise. Oh, well, I, I'm Harry Weston, and these are my daughters. This is Carol and Barbara. Hello. Hi. And uh, where is Mrs. Weston? Oh, uh, well, there is no Mrs. Weston. I'm a widow. Oh. <laughs> Did you get on at Fort Lauderdale? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, we live in Miami. Oh. <laughs> what do you do, Harry? I'm a pediatrician. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's the man that put us at your table. He told us how lonely you are. <laughs> what? Hey, how's everybody doing? Charlie, can I talk to you for a minute, please? What's going on over here? Aren't they something? <laughs> that Myrna's a wild woman. Oh, if those bunions could talk. Charlie, did you tell them that I, I, I would date them? Oh, I didn't say date. I said mingle. It's part of the deal. What deal? Well, how do you think I got you the price break on the cruise? <laughs> what? Hey, Harry, wake up and smell the polydent. <laughs> Look, you're attractive. You're a widower. You're a doctor from Miami. My God, you're the hottest thing to hit this ship since Maury Amsterdam played the Neptune Lounge. <laughs> Tony, I thought this was a payback. I thought you were being nice. Oh, Harry, all you gotta do is mix and mingle. And don't make it sound like such a chore. A Charlotte over there is a beauty contest winner. She's a former Miss Louisiana Purchase. Charlie! Oh, there goes the love of my life. Hmm, I wonder what her name is. <laughs> well, I'm hungry. Excuse me, I don't mean to disturb you. Oh, no, not at all. Miss Weston, I hope you got my flowers. You sent the flowers? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that they were for me. Uh, th there are two Miss Westons. Oh, I didn't realize there were others. When you came on board, I saw only you. Oh, my God in heaven, I'm dying. <laughs> I apologize for the interruption. I'm Matthew. Matthew Wright. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Wright. It's Mr. Wright! Oh, my God in heaven, I'm dying. Uh, Carol, they're serving espresso on the promenade deck. Uh, I'd love for you to join me. If you don't mind that the ocean's a little choppy right now. Oh, are you kidding? I love the sea. <laughs> Oh, young love is so romantic. The only thing more romantic is mature love. <laughs> this is where it all happens. The bridge of the ship. The helm. If you lived here, you'd be home by now. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, this is all so exciting. How did you get to be captain of this ship at such a young age? Well, let's just say I didn't sleep my way to the top. But that doesn't mean that avenue's closed off to you. You know, it's such a coincidence. Me being a dental technician and you a ship's captain, you work on bridges, so do I. Ooh, mind meld. Should you be steering with only one hand? Couldn't the ship go off course? Hmm? Oh, no, uh, these things... Pretty much run themselves. You just uh, gotta kind of sort of program in what you want it to do. There. 
Now I've got both hands free to navigate. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was that? Is there something wrong with the ship? Oh, 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 Carol, don't be nervous. These people are highly trained professionals. They know what they're doing. <laughs> Anyway, where were we? You were telling me how you knocked around Europe for a couple of years. Right. Then I settled down in my dad's law firm. Now I'm senior partner in Bartlett, Wright & Colton. How about you? Me? Well, um, I had a bad marriage, a nervous breakdown, some therapy. <laughs> my dream is to someday open a self-help bookshop. That's Shop Poo Poo, with two peas. <laughs> I like it. You do? Yes. Matthew... <laughs> it's just hard to believe that I'm here with you now when a couple of hours ago I was huddled in the corner of my stateroom wearing my life jacket and clutching my bottle of heave no more. <laughs> <laughs> but enough about me. Tell me more about you. Well, what can I tell you? My likes? Woody Allen films? Chinese food? And lost causes? And women whose beauty is matched only by the depth of their intelligence. I love you, Carol. What? I want to marry you. Oh, my God in heaven, I'm dying. I, I know it's quick. I know we've known each other only two hours. But I know what I want. And I want you. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, I... You've only known me a short time. I mean, I, I have some faults. <laughs> Who doesn't? I mean, little things. I, I, I laugh too loud. I can't sew. I'm lactose intolerant, you know. <laughs> Look, Carol. You are what you are. And I love what you are. Just say you'll marry me and we can have the ceremony right here on the ship. <laughs> this is all so quick. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Carol. Love is a decision of the heart, not the mind. Just say yes. Daddy, all I know is I love him and he loves me. Well, sweetheart, I mean, that's wonderful. I'm very happy for you, but it still seems awfully quick to be talking about marriage. I know, Daddy, but Matthew is bright and hardworking and creative and witty. Honey, you've only known him for one day. Daddy, he wants me to move out of our house and live with him in Massachusetts. Then again, I'm an old fuddy daddy. <laughs> well, no, it's Phil. It's too quick. Daddy, I'm going to go and get Matthew, and we'll all talk about this over brunch on the Fiesta deck. You'll see. You're going to fall in love with him just like I have. <sighs> Hi, Daddy. All right, baby. What do you think about all this marriage talk? I think it's real fast. But on the other hand, maybe the less he knows about Carol, the better. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Boy, this really must be weighing heavy on your mind. What makes you say that? Well, why else would you be walking around without your wallet? <laughs> What are you doing? It's my new act for the talent show, pickpocketing. And you have a flair for it. All right, I'm going to go up. I'll be on deck. Are you sure you want to go out without your boxer shorts? Yes, don't do that. Come on. Fine. Ah, my ship be sure. Oh. All right, Laverne. Um, wait, 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 hold, hold on, Dale. Uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, private. <laughs> I tell you what, if if you leave me alone now, I, I'll I'll let you come down to the fitness center and watch me do my deep knee bends. Oh. <laughs> Laverne, how's things back where you are? Well, nothing really special to report. <laughs> Drop this is fine. Are you 
patience or fine. How are things on your end? Well, I've got some amazing news. And, uh, Carol's fallen in love. She's talking about getting married. Yeah, and Dreyfus is doing the hokey pokey. <laughs> Oh, Barbara, she's in the talent show tonight as a pickpocket. Make, make that juggler. Except make that a bad juggler. Harry, I gotta talk to you. It's important. Okay. Uh, all right, Laverne, I'll see you Saturday when we get back. Okay, don't worry. I'll keep the home fires a burning. <laughs> Charlie, what is it? Well, I got put on temporary suspension. What happened? Well, they got a whole bunch of trumped-up charges against me. I was with a dental technician, Simba Katzman. He said I was trying to pose as the ship's captain trying to impress her. Were you? Well... Yeah. They said I took the ship off course. Did you? Well... Yeah. Seems I steered the ship a teensy bit into the Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle is not the place where ships and planes and people kind of vanish into thin air. Harry, you've seen one too many Twilight Zones. Daddy, Matthew's disappeared. What, what do you mean disappeared? I have looked everywhere. He's just gone. Hey, Harry, how's that for a coincidence? I steer the ship into the Bermuda Triangle. Sorry, what? What did you say? Well... Last night, I accidentally steered the ship slightly into the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, my God. That was the last time I saw Matthew. Perfect. I finally meet Mr. Wright, and he gets sucked into another dimension. Cal, that's preposterous. That didn't happen. He's, I'm sure he's someplace on the ship. Yeah, having a beer with Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Sweetheart, come on. We'll go find him. Easy. Come on. Matthew? No, not yet. Oh, my God, my beloved's in a time warp. Oh, no, I, please, look, I, look, I, I, just, I just got through talking with the chief of security, and he's arranging that, what is he doing? He's playing his head with spoons. <laughs> ah, I see. Anyway, anyway, look, there's a search party going to calm the ship, and they will find him, baby. Don't worry. Hmm. Well, we're going to move from head playing to song styling with our next act, a young lady who hails from Miami, Florida. Would you please welcome Barbara Weston? Oh, she's going to sing. I hope you did that song she didn't care, remember? I'm a little too hot. That was cute. Oh, my God. Well, uh, at least it's dark. They can hardly see her. <laughs> your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear you give me fever when you kiss me fever when you pull me down Carol, you have all your stuff? Yes, Daddy, everything. Except my one true love, with whom I had hoped to spend the rest of my life. Carol, I still say he's going to show up. Oh, sure, in a parallel universe. <laughs> Show's over. There he is. Hey, Harry, you almost forgot to say goodbye to the girls. Bye. Goodbye. I'm in the book, the fifth Lupinski from the bottom. <laughs> I don't believe it. There's Matthew. Matthew! Matthew! Matthew, it's 
It's me, Carol. Hi, Carol. Oh, oh my God, you're safe. I was worried sick. You're not going to believe this, but I thought you were lost in the Bermuda Triangle. Where were you? I don't know. Well, you were somewhere these last three days. I don't know. <laughs> I must have blacked out. It's never happened before. Well, the important thing is that you're here now, and we can pick up where we left off. I I'm sorry, Carol, but something's changed. Please forgive me if I've caused you any pain. Uh, I must be going. Where? I don't know. Submitted for your approval, Carol Weston, doomed to run the world without a man. Would you? <laughs> Carol, I'm so sorry about Matthew. You know something, Daddy? I think I'm gonna be okay. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, for one whole day, it was wonderful. I mean, a really terrific guy was in love with me. And at least I didn't lose him to another woman. I, I lost him to the space-time continuum. <laughs> I think there's a support group for that. We'll find one, sweetie. Come on, let's go. All right. Yes. Where's Drive? Drive it! Oh, you're back! How was your trip? I lost the man of my dreams in the Bermuda Triangle. Well, you gotta roll with the punches, honey. I had a great time. Hey, surprise, surprise. How was it for you? Well, let's just say that if anybody named Lupinski calls at the office, I'm very busy with a patient. <laughs> oh, the ice machine doesn't make that noise anymore. No, oh, yeah, I've tinkered with the fridge a bit. <laughs> Laverne. Oh, I really appreciate it.